Good morning, mountain bikers. I'm Chris Wessels, and you are watching MTB Trail Review. Not that long ago, I tested out my buddy's Amazon fat bike, e-fat bike, and I said, I kind of want one. This thing's really fun. Well, I got one. And today, I'm gonna tell you all about it. This is the Vituvia SN100. And before I get into it, I want to thank Vituvia for sending me the bike to test. I'm gonna go over all the specs, but just to show you a couple things real quick, here's some of the handlebar controls. This is the amazing display, and it also has an integrated headlight that's really cool. Now, obviously this bike has already been ridden. You can see that it's dirty. That's because I have been thoroughly enjoying it. I also swapped the bars and the pedals, which you see here, but during the review, I left on the stock ones to talk about them. This bike comes in a big box. You can have it delivered to your door, or you can pick it up at a holding facility like I did. It comes mostly assembled. Really, you just need to put on the front wheel, put the seat in, attach the pedals, and then put together the cockpit. Vituvia provides all the tools you need, and assembly is pretty basic. Even if you're not someone who's super familiar with working on bikes, or working on anything, you should be able to do it. Unfortunately, my camera died and I hadn't realized it before I finished putting it together, but you get the point. Just about anybody can assemble this bike with very little stress. It took me about 15 minutes. Right after getting the bike built, I called Dan and said, I want to get this thing in the dirt. So he grabbed his high boy and we went to go play. <laughs> So this is my shakedown ride. This is my first time getting this bike in the dirt. Now, let's talk about the intended uses of this bike, and then let's talk about what I did with the bike. This bike is marketed for and designed for hunters and hunting. Now, I am not a hunter, so I can't speak to it too much, but after riding this bike for a little bit, I could see how this bike would be good for hunting. It's quiet, it's fast, and you can get yourself and all of your gear deep into the woods wherever you need to go in order to go on your hunting adventure. It also comes with an optional luggage rack that holds, I believe it was 25 kilograms. And for those of you who are American, that's a little over 50 pounds. So you probably can't tell because, you know, GoPro effect. But this is a pretty steep climb and I'm probably doing 15 miles per hour of it and I could have gone faster. The amount of power that these things have is incredible. It's also equipped with a Shimano drivetrain and unlike the other one that I tested, this one has hydraulic disc brakes which are a massive game changer. I cannot stress that enough. These bikes require hydraulic disc brakes because they are so heavy and they require so much stopping power. Speaking of the brakes, you may hear them singing a little bit in this video. That's not normal. I just needed to realign the caliper because I accidentally kicked it. So I'm going to turn on the volume so it's not driving you crazy. Just know that after I realigned the caliper, the singing stopped completely. That was my own stupid fault. As far as the rest of the components go, I love the display. I love where it's situated. I think it's really, really good. The only things that I'm going to change out for sure are the pedals, just because I have my pedals that I prefer. But these ones are metal pedals, and they seem to be high quality. I'm also going to change the bars, just because I'm used to wider bars, and it feels weird to ride bars that are this narrow. Again, that's not a requirement. That is just a preference. Otherwise, the cockpit is very intuitive. I like the way they did everything. The adjustable stem is surprisingly good. I took some big hits and it was fine. I may upgrade to an air fork at some point, uh, just so I can push this bike past its intended limits, because I'm curious to see what it can do. But if you're not doing actual downhill mountain biking, the fork is just fine. This bike is very well equipped, especially at the price point. After completing the shakedown ride and kind of pushing the limbs a little bit, I decided to get this thing onto a real mountain bike trail because, well, I feel like it could do it. 
This trail is a high beginner, low intermediate trail. And I think that any high beginner, low intermediate trail is very appropriate for this bike if you are a skilled mountain bike rider. Excuse me. Just me. In fact, I had a ton of fun just doing laps on this trail. This is about a four mile loop and I did several laps because I wanted to do a real world range test. For the downhill sections, I kept the PAS, which is the pedal assist system, in two. And then I had it in three, four, and five, depending on what I felt was most appropriate for all of the flats and the climbs. And believe it or not, I wore out before the battery did. But as long as it's a linear drain, and it appeared to be because at the end of each lap, I would stop and calculate what type of battery life I should have left. So if it was a linear drain, then this bike will do about 34 miles and 3,000 feet. And I was not being conservative with the battery. So as you can see, this bike is trail worthy for the right trails. I would not take this down a black diamond. If you are somebody who is looking for the roughest and rowdiest downhill mountain bike trails, this bike's not for you. You want to look at something that has a mid-drive motor similar to my Kona Remote 160. But for everybody else, for all other applications of riding, this bike is fantastic and it's way more affordable. At $1,700, and I think you can get it on sale right now for a couple hundred bucks less, it comes in significantly cheaper than all of the other e-bikes that you have probably looked at. Once again, it's designed for hunting. So if that's what you're doing, this is the perfect bike. I like to call this an adventure bike. I want to take this bike out into areas that I haven't explored yet. It's got the range, it's got the power, and the fat tires will tackle just about any obstacle that I come upon. This bike would also be a great commuter. If you live in the desert or at the beach, this thing will do awesome in the sand with the fat tires. And this thing is going to be incredible in the snow. I can't wait for the first snowfall to get this thing out there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I think the bike is worth the money. And once again, thank you Vituvia for sending me the bike to test. I really, really am enjoying it and I can't wait to get it out on more adventures. Just so you guys know what's coming up next, I already have two adventures planned. Dan and I are going to ride these guys from Descanso to Julian if you're familiar with the San Diego area. If you're not, we're gonna take these things out into the mountains in the middle of nowhere and ride them up to an old mining town. I'm really excited about it. And second, as soon as we get some snowfall, I am getting these tires in the snow. If you have any questions about the bike, feel free to leave them in the comments. I have also left a link to Vituvia's website so that you can look at the bike there, as well as a link on Amazon to where you can purchase the bike. As always, thanks for having the chills to be the day, and I'll catch you on the next one.